Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is going to be this wooden model, Al Cuckoo Clock. Uh, it's from Rocker brand. Uh, usually I do the U Gears models, but this is the same concept as the, the wooden pieces lasered out and uh, just got to put them together and everything. So this is the first time of me trying this, uh, this brand. We'll go through it together, um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. As always, if you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe so I get more content out. And I hope you enjoy it. Hi everyone, welcome back to our episode of our Owl Clock Wooden Model. It's not been too bad so far. I mean, we've been kind of just building the gears and just certain pieces, and I think we're finally starting to put it all together from here on out. So I don't think there's too many gears left, I don't think. So, um, but we'll press on and see what we got. Okay. I'm just making sure I don't press on anything I shouldn't. Just to make sure. This is going down to hold this back piece on. I will have to say this is definitely uh, one of the few wooden models that I haven't uh, that are, that's had like the fewest pieces. Usually some of them have uh, toothpicks that you use to hold the pieces together and I'll eventually have some other uh, models that will have that and uh, but uh, this is definitely uh, the first one that I've had where didn't include any toothpicks or anything so uh, it's definitely making the process a lot quicker so there won't be too many episodes with this one okay Uh, thinking it's that one, okay. I was trying to see which side, because this is one of the few pieces where it doesn't have the number on it. I was just trying to see. This actually looks like the back part, because it's got these little, these little grooves or whatever on it, and plus it looks like the back part's a little lighter. So. Oh, actually, on the instructions right here, it's got this little square, which means to use the back side. So I'm actually supposed to have the back side because this is the back of the clock. So I'm glad I saw that. So E19. on this I don't want to push on this because there's really nothing underneath it so I'm gonna hold it try to hold it where there's some support to it because I'm gonna be pushing Thank you. 
goes here. You just got a line. This piece up. That. Hold on to it. It's wanting us to use this to go in here, trying to make sure it goes all the way through. Like that. And you're also wanting to make sure that the gears are inside as well. That's the point of the wax is so the gears will when they interact with each other it doesn't uh, you know it's kind of a creates a smooth action that it doesn't bind on anything as you're going through so uh, i said in a previous episode that i would uh, show you again how to do some sanding just because i only did it like i think uh, once in one of the earlier episodes so i get all the pieces laid out here so uh, the sandpaper I, I cut uh, got it in half just to make it a little bit easier managed and uh, just so I can concentrate on one little side uh, until it gets whittled down and then I can flip it over and do the other one but as you can see when you uh, push the pieces out of the sheets it leaves these little lines right here that stick up a little bit so you want to try to smooth those down to where it's uh, smooth with the rest of the piece. And I just lightly rub. I don't uh, put too much pressure to it. And uh, sometimes it'll sand some of the darker part of the wood off, but uh, I'm totally fine with that. It's, it's, a, it's a wood piece, so it's, it's going to get, uh, you know, a little part of the top taken off so but uh, I just lightly sand and then I just run my finger over just to see if I feel that little edge or anything and if I don't you know if I feel it's smooth then uh, I just go around till I find where the other piece is or where the other line is and then I just uh, work on that one And sometimes you gotta fold the piece over to get to where you need to to sand and everything. So I'm just just feeling that. See if that's all right. And I think that is it. That one. And you just kind of start on one side and then and then uh, just continue on one side and then uh, just work your way around and uh, some of the residue may end up on the sides and stuff but so you just work your way around feel a little bit of line I mean that's totally fine I don't think it's gonna mess with the model too much but I try to get as close as I can just so uh, just in case you know if you're trying to fit it in somewhere and I just don't want it rubbing up against anything or causing it to be too tight or anything like that so but just started at one side and just worked my way around 
as you can see, add all these pieces right here. And you just kind of fill your hand through. And I think I may have missed that one. Yep, I missed that one right there. So again, you just kind of just keep rubbing it until it wears it down. Should be good enough. And then also with these big pieces, sometimes I'll have smaller pieces inside of here that will have the little edges that connected those pieces. So you gotta look on the inside as well. And there's one there, one there. So you have to look inside the piece to make sure all those got uh, sanded down as well. Okay, so this piece also wants you to uh, wax these little circles here. So the beeswax one that I have actually is too big for it. So I actually am using the, uh, the little wax piece that they gave you in the kit. So for this, I'm just, just gonna just go in a circle. Just go around until I feel like I'm, I put enough on it. There's really no set amount that you need to put on it, but you just wanna make sure that you know, you feel like everything, every little bit's covered in there because something's going to go in there to turn or or something like that, so. So, it's just it'll make the gears or whatever goes in here move a little smoother. Okay. Just kind of wipe off the excess. Okay, so now we're gonna get to putting it together. All right, E7. Okay, making sure the arrow is facing toward the back, which, okay, that. You also want to make sure that you're, this is facing the right way. You got a little thing right here that kind of tells you it's the right way. But once the arrow to the arrow to face this way. Okay, and then E13. together and then in the steps it shows one and two so I want you to do this part this part first which is to go like to go like that and then two Just making 
sure I pushed it in all the way. Okay. And now, flipping it back over. These two left, so now we have This will go into here. So the hole. Now hold those two together and this one. Yeah, it goes right here into this one. So pretty much everything's just kind of holding everything else. So, so we're getting there. Spring's not really held in with anything right now, so.
see the waxing blocks kind of been through a little bit, but it's where I shaped it to get into the grooves and everything. So they want me to throw some wax on these round ones. So just going through. stick it uh, that came with the the kit I don't think would have been enough for everything we've had to wax so that's why it's good to always get it something else okay so now That's the only bad thing is it doesn't really tell you like to grab a previous piece you know that you've put together before but since there's no other pieces from the step left then I'm just assuming that it's talking about this one like it's where you put that onto to, to slide it in so it looks like I slide that into there and then down to where it fits inside the hole right there. correct for right now. I can't really this piece and then we have this piece. Okay, so that goes there. This will go here. Everything lined up 
here. Right there, trying to get all these little pegs in the holes. Try not to push down too hard because I don't wanna don't wanna break nothing, but just trying to there we go. Okay. Got that locked in. Okay, now I think that's in there. That's in there. I think that's gonna be. That's gonna be in there, so I'm just trying to get these bottom two pegs. There we go. Again, not trying to press too hard, but just enough to get it in. Okay, I'm guessing that's sticking out to hold that in place, so do not push that in. <laughs> now, why is this? Oh, I'm guessing because this isn't in. And this, there we go. Okay. Not trying to push anything, just trying to. So with these, you definitely gotta make sure everything is lined up where it's supposed to go. All the holes are in, all the round pieces are where they're supposed to go. All the gears are in, connected to the other gears. These pegs are in there. Yeah, that's supposed to be held there. And then, just go ahead. a little better. There we go. Ah. It. It. it doesn't tell you everything that you're supposed to be doing. There we go. Okay. Now I think we got it all. Got that one on. That one on. And again, this is still kind of Definitely getting there. Okay, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Gotta try to slide this in here.
can hook the little thing right up in there, the little foot right up in there, a little peg, this right here, went right into there. Okay. Okay, so let me lay this down for now. We'll get to this one. Flip it over to the back. start to connect. <sighs> this piece and the other piece together. it off like I just did because <laughs> usually when you take pieces out you end up tearing a little bit off which I did they should have had you put that in first before And 
then Just a couple more steps and then we will be done but this is the back and that is the front so almost done and it's definitely getting there so definitely getting there so I think I'll go ahead and end it here so appreciate you watching see you next episode